FBI Director Christopher A. Wray informed Congress that terrorist threats against the U.S. have reached a higher level following the recent Hamas attack on Israel. The big players in terrorism have renewed calls to attack America and its interests. The level of threats has risen since President Biden took office, but U.S. law enforcement is better prepared to handle them. Al-Qaeda, Islamic State, Hezbollah, and Iran are all posing significant risks, targeting the U.S. and its military bases. Testifying to the Senate, Mr. Ray emphasized the elevated terrorism threat in 2023. The greatest threat to the U.S. homeland is lone actors or small cells of radicalized individuals using easily accessible weapons to target soft locations. Recent intelligence indicates an elevated concern regarding Middle East-based threats. Although groups like al-Qaeda have reduced operational capacity, they are seeking opportunities to rebuild and recruit, leveraging the Hamas attack on Israel. Jewish communities face a particularly pronounced threat, accounting for a significant majority of religion-based hate crimes. Attacks against Muslims are relatively fewer in number. In a congressional hearing, FBI Director Christopher Wray and DIA Director Suzanne Abizaid expressed concerns about Iran's role as a state sponsor of terrorism. They highlighted Iran's attempts to assassinate high-profile figures, interfere in the 2020 election, and conduct cyber attacks. Both officials urged Congress to renew surveillance powers under Section 702 to enhance national security. However, some lawmakers, including Senator Rand Paul, voiced concerns about potential misuse of these powers to surveil American citizens. Don't forget to share your comments below and visit and share waynedupree.com for latest news and opinions. Follow us on social media platforms by searching for at Wayne Dupree Show. Thanks for listening.